MC Breakfast Show. Uh, I know we've got a fantastic relationship with the United States of America. I always have down through the years. They've been very good to us uh, and we've always welcomed them to our country. But it is kind of weird that every now and again the American footballers arrive in town uh, and they put on a show and everybody goes absolutely mad. The Viva Stadium was sold out. It was packed on Saturday afternoon. I was up in Holt yesterday. There were still a lot of American football guys going around and uh, they were kind of on a bit of a tourist trail. So they take over the country. Uh, it was Florida State versus Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech were the winners. By all accounts, it was a very exciting uh, game, actually, as these games go. Um, so, RT rugby commentator, so kind of fish out of water, Donald Lennon. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me calling you a fish, Donald. Uh, Donald no problem, Ian. Donald was there. What was it like, Donald? <laughs> Well, Ian, I have to say, American football, a bizarre experience altogether. The Aviva was a sea of red, white and blue. First of all, about 40 to 50 cheerleaders came out with their pom-poms. Now, you wouldn't get that on a wet Thursday evening down in Cork, I can tell you. (laughs) But you could smell the fake tan up on the (laughs) stand-in. The place was packed out with Americans. There was a fella in front of me, he must have been 45 stone, calling himself Chad in a very loud voice, chatting to another slightly smaller fella. Then the players came out. Now, they look like the stormtroopers from Star Wars. There must have been 400 of them on the pitch in, but then suddenly 300 of them just walk off for no right, reason yeah. whatsoever. Then the game itself starts. But incredibly, every time a fella passed the ball to another fella, the, the game stopped right. and everybody walks off again for about 10 minutes and they start playing the boys are back in town. <laughs> the lads below me would go out for another hot dog. They must have gone to 30 or 40 hot dogs. And I noticed two American commentators in the box knocking back pints of Guinness. If myself and Hugh Cahill did that, we'd be up in front of an Oireachtas hearing. Oh, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing went on about four and a half hours, during which they got the, through the entire back catalogue of Tin Lizzie and ACDC. <laughs> the Yanks in front of me fell out and started having a Barney over Donald Trump. I have no idea who won or lost. And I ended up missing my train back to Cork and kipping on Andy Farrell's couch for the night. And I'll tell you, that could change everything. <laughs> Gift Grub. <laughs> Listen live every morning on the-